South Korea reported fewer than 100 new COVID-19 cases for the fourth straight day on this Monday, but health authorities do remain concerned about cluster infections at long-term care hospitals, mainly in Seoul and its surrounding area. Min Suk-hyun reports. South Korea reported 76 new COVID-19 cases on Monday, marking the fourth straight day with less than 100 infections. Of them, 50 were locally transmitted and 26 were from overseas. This brings the total number of coronavirus cases nationwide to over 25,200. No additional deaths were reported, keeping the death toll at 444. Since last week, several cluster infections have emerged at long-term care hospitals, mainly in the greater Seoul area. According to health authorities, as of Sunday, a total of 51 people contracted the virus at a rehabilitation hospital in Gwangju, Gyeonggi-do province. A long-term care hospital in Busan also saw a spike in cases, with 73 people testing positive. In response to contain the spread of the virus, the government has started conducting tests on some 160,000 people linked to such hospitals and facilities in the greater Seoul area. Although the number of cluster infections appears to be falling, cases continue to be reported at long-term care and rehabilitation hospitals. From this week, the government will conduct tests on those high-risk facilities. The country lowered its social distancing guidelines to the lowest level in its three-tier system last Monday. The government, however, explained it's not because the risks of COVID-19 have decreased, rather it's a measure taken to get people's life back to normal without hampering the country's virus prevention efforts. Min Suk-kyun, Arirang News.